Hey, Robert Jackson again. Second day of Florida State's EBV program. We had a lot of great speakers again today. Uh, we had Reggie Crane, which was a former EBV grad from uh, last year, 2010. He came in, shared his business, which was actually consulting and helping businesses uh, realize where they're at, where they need to be. So it was very informational, very, I guess, very inspiring to see where he's built his company and see where he's going. Uh, to be able to see the success that's come out of the EBV program only motivates us so much more and lets us know that it's possible. That you, if you have a dream, just go out and do it. And it Through the EBV program, all that you learn, take it, learn from it, utilize it, and grow from it. Uh, then we had, sorry, I'm going to look at my notes real quick, legal. Uh, uh, lawyers came in, let us know this is what you need to set up, this is how you set it up. Uh, these are your rights. Uh, don't, don't forget to copyright things, don't forget to register things, don't forget to trademark things uh, to be able to have those resources. And of course everybody knows legal advice is not exactly cheap, so to be able to get it pro bono here at the event and take advantage of it, ask the questions that we needed to ask was amazing. Uh, that probably would have cost us a lot of money had we not had this program, had we not had the opportunity to sit down in front of them and say, hey, this is where I'm at in my business, this is where I want to be, what challenges do I need to face on the legal end, or what challenges am I going to face on the legal end, and which avenue do I need to take. Uh, helping a lot of men and women that are at the event, a lot of veterans decide if they want to go as an LLC, as an S-Corp, uh, decide in between the two, is it, it's a huge difference. So to be able to to get that advice for free is huge. Uh, then we had Jack uh, Beecher come in, which covers the government contracting side of the Army Corps of Engineers, covering all the government contracting that you can get into, whether it be construction, uh, supply, anything, anything that they subcontract out or contract out from the government side. Uh, just letting us know what programs are available, letting us know how to get into the programs, what certifications we need to get into. It is huge to find out the information that you need up front. So you're not in your business for five or six years and find out, hey, if I had this certification, I could have had this job, or if I had that certification, I could have had this job. Uh, again, just amazing how much wealth of knowledge is coming out of the EBV program. So if you don't know about the program, get involved. Uh, whether you're just finding out about the program, find out more. Find out how you get involved. There's a lot of volunteers uh, on the student side. There's a lot of donations coming in. There's a lot of great things happening. And empowering our veterans to go out and start their own business is, I guess, empowering America to get better, to improve to where we're at right now. With the economic downturn, we can use all the businesses that we get. And like I said yesterday, with the veteran success rate of two times the general public, it's, it's a natural to invest in the program and find out about the program, whether you're investing financially, whether you're finding out and learning and volunteering. All the support that you give Dr. Blast and the great team here at EVB is huge. Uh, on from Jack, we had uh, Jim Deaver again go on. Dr. Deaver, uh, who I mentioned yesterday, was 41 years old, sold all his businesses, didn't know what to do. Uh, I guess it was 50, around 50 years old, I think he said today, that he actually started going back to school because his wife kind of challenged him and said, hey, you've done everything but go back to school. Uh, so he ended up getting his doctorate and coming back to inspire us and motivate us so much more. Uh, great guy, probably the best instructor I've ever heard, down to earth. Uh, adds a little humor to his, to his uh, instruction, so it, it makes it easier for us veterans that are sitting here through these long days, and they are long days, uh, starting at, again at 6.30, finishing again at 10, 10.30. Uh, so if you're a veteran wanting to look into EBV, take it serious. It's it's crucial, and it's it's grueling, but they challenge us to better ourselves, and that, that's the best challenge we can have is to make a new life for ourselves. Uh, if you have families, to make a new life for our families. So uh, give back all you can through your program and keep doing it. Believe you can.